At various points in human history, sex has been defined and viewed in very different ways, although it has often been seen as just one thing, penis in vagina intercourse within the context of marriage for the purpose of procreation. Cultures and societies that have held this view have tended to characterize all other forms of genital stimulation as sinful, with violations sometimes carrying harsh legal penalties. Views on sex certainly still vary around the world in the modern era. However, the definition of sex is expanding, and sexual behavior is becoming more diverse and varied than ever, especially with the advent of technologies that afford new ways to sexually interact and express ourselves. Sex now encompasses a wide range of behaviors, including everything from mutual masturbation to oral, vaginal, and anal stimulation, not to mention things like sexting and phone sex. Again, while variation exists, sexual activity generally carries fewer legal and moral restrictions than it did in the past in many parts of the world, and we increasingly recognize that sex itself serves multiple functions and purposes in our lives. Yes, procreation is one such purpose, but it is actually a surprisingly uncommon reason for sex. In a study in which people were asked why they have sex, Participants reported 237 distinct reasons. The most commonly cited reasons for both men and women include feeling attracted to another person, wanting to have fun or experience physical pleasure, and wanting to show affection or love for someone else. The least common reasons included making money, punishing oneself, wanting to give a sexually transmitted disease to another person, feeling closer to God, and wanting to have a child. This immense variation in sexual motives and behaviors means that understanding sex in today's world is a complicated task. The goal of this chapter is to give you the theoretical foundation necessary for appreciating the complexities and intricacies of modern human sexuality from a psychologist's perspective. As a starting point, it is useful to acknowledge that every single sexual act is the result of several powerful forces acting upon one or more persons. These forces include our individual psychology, our genetic background and evolved history, as well as the current social and cultural context in which we live. Some of these influences favor sexual activity, whereas others oppose it. Whether sex occurs at any given moment depends upon which forces are strongest at the time.